Spokane Valley Police have captured a man we are calling the donkey kick burglar. And they're thanking a school security officer for the big break in the case. Take a look at this home security video and you'll see how Paul Hill earned his nickname using backward kicks to force his way through a reinforced door. Kicks wife for Jeff Humphrey broke this story on his Twitter account. He joins us now live at the Spokane County Jail where today Hill was so sick he didn't make his first court appearance, Jeff. Nadine acquaintances have told detectives that Hill is hopelessly addicted to heroin, so if he's not showing up in court, it may be because he is suffering from heroin withdrawal symptoms. That works for investigators who say that every day that Hill is in custody inside our jail is a day that he is not committing property crimes to support his habit. Paul Hill's need for drug money is so strong he simply ignored the warning sign that this home was under video surveillance. After loitering around the porch for three minutes, Hill turns around and donkey kicks the reinforced door seven times before knocking it off its hinges. Mr. Hill is a predator and he preys upon our citizens and that's how he maintains his money his lifestyle as he preys upon the good citizens while they're gone just two hours after Hill donkey kicked his way into the first home he allegedly breaks into this residence and is caught on camera by the surveillance system at nearby Orchard Center Elementary School four days later Orchard security officer spots the blue Hyundai photographs it and gives the license plate to Spokane Valley Police actually one of the school security personnel saw that vehicle and was able to get a license plate that came back and we were able to follow up that investigation and eventually take Mr. Hill into custody. Detectives then executed a search warrant on Hill's apartment and found some of the loot stolen in both burglaries. What's hard to believe is that Hill was out of jail in the first place. He was released from prison in June but got arrested for an armed burglary in November. Even though he's an ex-con, Hill's bond was set at a meager $10,000 and someone bailed him out of jail which means before Hill could stand trial on one break-in, he was allegedly committing these new burglaries. That seems to be what Mr. Hill's been doing, finding somebody not home, kick the door in, go in quickly, take items, and leave. And Nadine, that is why prosecutors have now asked the court to boost Hill's bond from $10,000 to $140,000. You should know, Nadine, that at least one of these burglaries that Hill suspected of, he's seen on surveillance video going up to a door with a clipboard in his hand. He's making out that he belongs there. And if you answer the door, he'll ask you a question or try to get your business and go away. But if you don't answer the door, he might sneak around to the back and try to kick his way through. And that's why experts recommend in this day and age, you don't have to open the door when somebody knocks on it, but you definitely need to let those people know that you're home. Reporting live at the Spokane County Jail, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.